when Darul Islam is restored in the Arabian Peninsula, this is now the most dangerous and potent of all threats to the state of Israel. Dajjal will now attack. He's now in a day which is like our day. And so we see him, a Jew, a young man, powerful, built curly here. But I'm not saying anything about his eyes because you understand the hadith about the eyes now. The Prophet ﷺ pointed his hands to the east 20 times. And he said he's going to come from the east. Jerusalem is northwest. <laughs> When Israel attacked Jamal Abdel Nasser, although Israel is to the east of Egypt, Israel attacked from the west and destroyed the Egyptian air force on the ground in the Six Day War. Similarly, the Jal is not going to attack from the northwest, he attacks from the east. Twenty times, said Muhammad, you can come from the east. When he attacks, he's going to be riding on a donkey which will travel as fast as the clouds and which is have his head stretched out wide. I'm going to Perth, inshallah, on Thursday on that donkey. <laughs> and so, we're talking about fighter aircraft and east of Medina and Mecca is the Saudi Air Force Base which is now also an American Air Force Base in Dahran as they attack Mecca and Medina the angels defend Mecca and Medina this is their Sahih Muslim and the attack is diverted to Damascus and then the confrontation takes place. Dajjal is outside and the Imam is inside, the masjid. And now history repeats itself. The Jews are rubbing their hands. We got them now. There's no escape. We got them. We have them in our sights now. As someone else was rubbing his hands, as his army was approaching them, and in front of them was the sea and behind them is the army and they're rubbing their hands we got them now who was he? Fir'aun and so history repeats itself but at the last moment Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to Musa alayhi salam take your rod and strike the water and then the divine intervention took place the miracle and the believers were saved now history repeats itself. As the Jews are rubbing their hands, we've got them now, we've cornered them. At that last moment, history repeats itself. The son of Mary comes down with his hand resting on the wings of two angels. The first time he came, Allah raised the man. And when the Messiah came, he came in front of that man. And that man said, here he is, this is the man you've been waiting for, this is the Messiah. Who was that man? <laughs> Yahya alayhi salam. So this is a divine method for positive identification. But Ibn Khaldun, may Allah bless him and have mercy on his soul. That great scholar, we are not fit to clean his shoes. Ibn Khaldun did not understand this. And Muhammad Iqbal, that great scholar, we are not fit to clean his shoes. But Muhammad Iqbal did not understand this. And so many other scholars have not understood it. And they rejected all the ahadith on Mahdi as fabricated. Ibn Khaldun did it and everybody else followed him. But now history repeats itself. The divine method of positive identification is repeated. As the son of Mary comes down in the masjid, 
Imam al-Mahdi says, here he is, this is the son of Mary. And history repeats itself. May Allah forgive Ibn Khaldun. And then the son of Mary responds and identifies himself. Imam asks him, you lead the Salat. He says, no, you are the Imam, you lead. After the Salat, then the confrontation takes place between the false Messiah and the true Messiah. And the false Messiah is killed. And then Gog and Magog are destroyed. The Sea of Galilee is dry. And after Gog and Magog are destroyed and Dajjal is killed, now the state of Israel is without any support. Now it's going to be a level battlefield. A level battlefield. I may be wrong, but I suspect that there is going to be a massive collapse of the world of modern technology. I suspect that. And so horses are now going to be used once again. Yeah. The army now comes out of Khorasan and that army attacks and destroys the state of Israel. The first time it was a Babylonian army. The second time it was a Roman army. And after the Roman army destroyed them and threw them out of the land, Allah said, in Udtum, Udna. in Udtum, Udna. If you return with your facade, we will return with our punishment. They return with their facade. It's happening now before your eyes. And so Allah returns with his punishment. in Udtum, Udna. And so now the Muslim army destroys the state of Israel. It is at this time that the Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, the hadith in Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, you will know who is the true leader amongst the Muslims today. Because he will not be afraid to quote this hadith. And you will know those who betray Islam because they will never quote this hadith. Never. They lose their jobs. لَتُقَاتِلُنَّ <laughs> الْيَهُودِ <laughs> وَلَتَقْتُلُنَّهُمْ حَتَّى يَكُولُ الْحَجَرُ يَا مُسْلِمْ هَذَا يَهُودِيٌ وَرَأِي فَتَعَالَ فَقْتُلْ Ah, if you're 17 years of age tonight, this is music in your heart. Yeah, if the beard is grey, well, things are not the same anymore. <laughs> You will most certainly fight the Jews. And you will most certainly kill them. And at that time the stones will speak. Muslim, there's a Jew hiding behind me. Come and kill him. Hmm? And so the Holy Land is liberated. This ends the subject of Imam al-Mahdi and the return of the Khilafah. What happens after that we'll pick up in our subject on Jerusalem in the Quran which will be on Monday night. What I'd like you to do is if you have any questions please write them very quickly. We have paper. Question one. Please define the geography of Khorasan. Where is Khorasan? Khorasan Khorasan in the time of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, has been researched by the eminent Pakistani scholar Dr. Isra Rahman and he has explained that Khorasan is that territory which extends from northwest Pakistan, the Pathan Belt, northeast Iran, the whole of Afghanistan and the territory north of Afghanistan. But clearly Afghanistan is in the heart of Khorasan. No. This territory has one thing distinctive about it. That Europe could never colonize the heart of Khorasan. The British tried when Britain was the ruling state in the world. And the British failed. 
And then the Russians tried when they had the superpower, the Soviet Union. And after 12 years, the Russians failed. And guess who is trying now? Yes. The war, the war in Khorasan has just begun, Mr. Bush. It has just begun. On that day, when Islam liberates Afghanistan, I believe it is that army which will be unstoppable until it reaches Jerusalem.